Welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica. Thanks for joining me. Today's the Power Up Collab, hosted by my sweet friends, Sarah of Ken Sarah DIY and Zena of OK at Home DIY. This month, we have a special co-host, Yelena of Blondie Next Door. This is a monthly collaboration featuring women and our power tools with a chance to win an Amazon gift card. I'll fill you in on that a wee bit later. I saw this adorable tugboat on Pinterest and I had to make it. Let's get into it. So I'll be using my miter saw for this project. First thing I need to do is set my angle for the first cut by loosening the handle and pressing the lever and sliding the base to my desired angle, 30 degrees. I'll lock it in place by tightening the handle. I've already measured out the length. I placed my wood up against the guide and I lowered the blade before cutting to make sure I'm lined up. I'll tighten my clamp to hold the wood, which is out of shot, but it's just turning it to tighten it. No biggie. I'll put on my safety glasses. I'll squeeze the on switch that's on the handle, allowing the blade to get up to full speed. And then I lower the blade into the wood. When the blade has passed completely through the wood, I'll push the blade carriage to the back. Now, for safety reasons, you should always finish the cut with the blade to the back. I didn't do that here. Ruh row. Shame on me. I lift the blade above the wood, allowing it to come to a complete stop. And there's my first piece. Easy, right? For my second piece, I'll actually make three cuts. I've marked them on my wood, and I've already moved my table back to 90 degrees. Holding my wood perpendicular to the table with my hand as far away from the blade as possible, I start my blade again, allowing it to reach full speed before lowering it to make the cut. I cut straight through. My blade carriage is all the way to the back before lifting. My next cut will be on a five degree angle. So I'll move the table until the pointer is at five degrees. I'll lock it in. I'll make sure that my blade is where I want it and I'll make my cut. Now, I'll come in to make the final cut for this piece, but first, I'll return my table back to 90 degrees. Then once again, I make the cut. Perfect. Next, I make a quick cut to this tail. I've marked my length and I'll cut. I'll drill a hole in the top of this piece here with my drill press. Using my wood piece, I'll measure how deep I want my hole. I only want it to be about a half inch deep, so I'll drop the table until the drill bit is at the correct depth. That looks about right. I'll tighten my table. I turn on the press and I turn the crank as far as it'll go. A quick cut up my scroll saw. I'm gonna cut this down to size, not gonna couple inches off. Just have to raise the guide. The guide bar keeps your material from jumping about while you're cutting. I sand down all my rough edges 
and wipe it clean. I'll paint the white pieces of my tugboat with ceramic coat white. I want this piece to look weathered, so I'm using quick, loose strokes. Not worrying about neatness because I want some of the natural wood to show through. But this part here is the hull of the ship. This is the cabin, and this is the smokestack. The bottom section of the hull will be Ceramcoat Ocean Reef. I'm not really up on my nautical terms, but I think that's the hull, right? Hull? You know what I mean. And a wee ocean reef stripe around the bottom of the stack, because it's really cute, and that's how I roll. The top of the cabin will be Ceramco Watermelon. That's my go-to red at the moment. So let me fill you in. To win the Amazon gift card, all you have to do is watch the entire playlist. Each creator will have a secret word. Mention that word in the comment section and you must be a US resident to participate. Sarah will choose a winner via random name selector in about a week. She'll announce it on her Instagram page and her YouTube community tab. So be sure to check back. This month, the prize is a $50 Amazon gift card. All information will be in the description box. Okay, back to the tugboat. I'll coat three washers with some Mod Podge. These will be the portholes. The Mod Podge will help the paint stick to the metal of the washers, and I'm just dabbing it on with a cosmetic sponge. I also pounce the paint on with a cosmetic sponge. I'm using Americana Seabreeze, Ceram Coat Watermelon, and Ceram Coat Hippo Grey. I've cut a piece of that Dollar Tree nautical rope the length of the boat, and I've knotted the ends. I'm dabbing some of the Americana Seabreeze on to pull more of that color into the piece. I make the four flags from cardstock by folding it and drawing a triangle. I'll cut the two lines, leaving the third line connected at the fold. I'll paint them inside and out. Again, using a cosmetic sponge to pounce on the color. I leave one flag white, and I'll distress the edges of each flag with some hippo gray. To add some faux rust, I'll dab the washers with some Americana light cinnamon, then I'll shake on some real cinnamon to give it that texture. To make the anchor, I've cut two bits of 19 gauge wire a couple of inches long. With needle nose pliers, I'll loop both ends of the wire and I'll give it a bit of an upward curve. I put a loop at one end of the other piece and wrap the other end around the middle of the first wire using the pliers to tighten it. It was actually surprisingly easy to do. I thought this is going to be a struggle, but I'm pleased to say it wasn't that bad at all. See? Not too bad. It's cute too. I sand all of my wood pieces to distress. I go really hard because I really want this to look very weathered. I drill a hole through the thinner dale, about half inch from the top, and another in the very top. I drill a hole at the front of the hull. Sorry, I forgot to zoom out for this. And I drill another one on the top of the hull. By the way, 
My secret word is drill. I'll assemble the tug with wood glue and for instant hold, a little bit of hot glue. I use both fabric glue and hot glue to attach the rope right across the front there. I'm using E6000 to add the portholes. I thread a bit of string through the top of the anchor and glue the anchor to the boot. Before I do anything else, I'll spray it with clear matte sealer. I'll thread some 19 gauge wire through the holes on the front of the boat. I just push it right through there and I'll use my needle nose pliers to wrap the wire around itself and secure it. Now I pop my dowel in place and I'll measure how much wire I need from the hole to the top of the dowel and then I'll cut the wire to size. I'll push the end of the wire through the hole at the top of the dowel and I'll twist it around itself to keep it from coming back out. I use hot glue to attach my flags. I push a piece of wire through the white flag, add a drop of hot glue to the end, and push the wire into the top of the dowel. And that's it. This is too stinking cute. I love it. I hope you like it too. If I can find the original post on Pinterest, I'll link that in my description box. Thank you, Sarah, Zena, and Yelena for hosting. Please be sure to check out their channels as well as the playlist, my supply list. You'll also find the rules in the description box too. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and all that good stuff. Give all my lovely friends a thumbs up. It really does help our channels to grow. Happy weekend. Good luck, everyone. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time up all night with Monica.